Welcome to my MIT Maker Portfolio. My name is Ismail Felstan. I'm a student, designer and maker. And this is my story. TARS was an autonomous unmanned area vehicle I developed over two years for a competition. It could carry and drop three tennis balls without losing stability, thanks to its well-balanced vertical mechanism. TARS was an example of perseverance. During a GPS test, TARS flew off uncontrollably, crashed two streets away, and burned when there was four days to the deadline of the competition. Despite the damage, we didn't give up. In a last-minute battery replacement, we got it flying again on the competition's final day, earning a perfect flight score. First, I was making things to learn or perform in the competition, but throughout the years, I started thinking about the problems in my environment. For example, I know a lot of farmer problems. So I designed SETIS, an agricultural drone system that allows farmers to apply pesticides at low cost using drones. Or take Turkey, which was hit by two brutal earthquakes two years before. I realized we need more rescue technologies. Now I'm working on Lisa, a life-saver rescue drone that can be controlled with only one motor using swashplateless motor technology investigated at the University of Pennsylvania. This this is the motor test for the first prototype. On the other hand, I love being inspiration to others. I'm working on a model plane to perform at my old school to inspire young minds. I have a 3D printer so I can create prototypes or components for my project right in my room. However, we also use our dedicated room or the laboratories at our school. But TARS was completely made at home. A lot of things, but if I would have chance, I would first work on rescue technologies. My first step was Lisa, and within months it will fly. At MIT, we could make it even smaller than a phone and design it to navigate under debris, find and save life. We could investigate new agricultural technologies or rockets capable of reaching Mars. There is so much to do, from Earth to space, and none of them are impossible at MIT, because MIT is the final square where a pawn becomes a queen. Thanks.